All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, let's, we're going to talk about Mike's song, a uh, fish song, popular fish song called Mike's Song. Uh, it's in the key of C sharp minor right here. And the main riff kind of goes like this. You know, not too much to it. It's kind of... Uh, following that uh, what C sharp pentatonic scale there um, it's kind of doing the blues scale in there it's adding that note there sharp minor right so hopefully that kind of makes sense to you there okay so the chord structure behind that you know if you wanted to play just the straight up chords which Trey sometimes will play this C sharp minor and then do that hammer on chords behind the song is you got the C sharp, a D major, A major. Okay, so that's the, the main riff behind Mike's song. Um, and it goes to a chorus here, so coming out of that main riff, it does this hammer on on the E over the E major chord. So if you notice, it does that, and that's the, this E major chord with your root just moved up to not the second but the third, right? Do re mi, do do re mi. So it's your third note of the scale. So your E major with the inversion, third, which is a great chord. Trey uses it a lot. I'm a big fan of it. It allows these other fingers here to hammer stuff on, right? First here, you know, it's not kind of as uh, efficient maybe, sounds a little bit different. Um, so what he's doing there for that, that chorus is... tricks here which is really nice you know practice that I'm 
they go to this is the first chorus on the fourth one it goes <laughs> does this chromatic walk up from B to C to C sharp and then starts back over so of that song um, the next time they get to the chorus they do this these hits on it so you play it four times through and then on the fourth one it goes so it does that hits four times one two three four five starts over now eight times two three four five six seven eight stays over that F sharp minor for a while. Sometimes they'll modulate to different keys, but the main the main uh, groove is in that F sharp, you know. And so what I'm thinking when I'm soloing within that jam is just F sharp minor. Um, the natural minor, also known as the Aeolian. The Aeolian mode, which is the sixth mode of any key, right? There's, there's um, what, seven modes, I think? <laughs> and uh, the one being the major, the major key, um, that is the Ionian. And so when you go up to the sixth, right? So in this... This is like stuff that's really helpful if you start to learn the coordinating modes with the scale. Um, in this case, if F sharp was your, your minor scale, your natural minor scale, you could go down from here, say this is the six, and you know, this might be a little confusing, but hear me out, the six, and then, uh, sorry, you would go up six to the seven to the one, so that means the one's going to be A major. So that's the, the trick with the relative major and the relative minor, which is something I've uh, used a lot. Um, so if you figure that out, you can play, you can jam out in the key of F sharp minor. You can also jam out in the, the scale of A major. identical scales they have different starting and stopping points which really is what makes it kind of give it a little bit different flavor um, but they're the exact same notes and this is the sixth mode of the scale here the F sharp minor Oops. sorry okay so that's the the sixth mode also known as the Aeolian, and this is the first mode here, the major, known as the Ionian. So if I had a backing track going with like... You could use that A major scale. scales are the exact same notes and so that's the point the key the idea behind learning all the modes 
they're the same scale for whatever key you're in but it allows you to jump all over the neck and it also allows you to give you just slightly different flavors namely because of like the starting stopping points you know if I versus one's kind of bright one's kind of dark um, but they're the exact same notes so that's a really good trick tool I use kind of jamming over stuff is I'll try to find what key it is what that major key is and then I'll find the relative minor or vice versa I'll find the the minor and then I'll find the relative major to that key so um, you know the pentatonic F sharp minor F sharp pentatonic minor the great scale to use there you can use the minor jam it kind of peaks out and then it goes to a D major here right and an E major and an F sharp minor and it usually comes up here and hits high notes kind of rips of solo kind of here back again at that F sharp pentatonic something like that back to that D to the E F sharp minor same thing on the fourth time he does it again but now it goes this does this walk down phrasing thing where it's f sharp all the way down then f sharp For that F sharp, I'm just playing these bottom two notes. You can play all just minor, you know. I think minor works, major, not as much. I'm not hearing that, but you just play those two notes F sharp, F, E. I'm just doing a power chord. It might be major. I guess maybe minor there, but just power chord it. Or just even one note. something new a new song uh i am hydrogen they used to they used to go into that a lot in the key of e major it's a beautiful song so yeah that's mike's song um if you have any questions just uh write it down below in a comment and i'll just do my best to get back with you um if there's anything you like let me know um how i can do a better job or whatever helps y'all i'm happy here to help show you what i know and appreciate y'all watching all right thanks peace